Hello everyone, welcome back to another Ultimate Admiral's Dreadnoughts, and today we got another paper ship that isn't American. So I ran out of really, well, I took out all the American ship factors. I put two German ships and three Japanese ships, and, uh, well, randomized it, and one of the German ships came out on top. Though, uh, those German ships were the O-Class and the H-44. We got the H-44. So, this is probably the most famous of all paper ships, the H-Class design by the Germans. But, uh, I'll just, I'll talk about that in the voiceover whenever I'm building the ship. But, oh, we don't want to go here. But, uh, there is a Naval Academy, uh, mission that you can do building your own H-Class, but we're going to use the custom battle. So, max year, everything. Uh... Let's go 10,000. Let's go head to head with the British. Four battleships, two battle cruisers, four heavy cruisers, and no light cruisers. Ah, two. So, we are going to have one big H class. Let's hope that it works. So, let's design her. So, there's no easy way to talk about the H-44 or the H-Class in any way without talking about Plan Z. So, Plan Z, what was that? That was the plan for Admiral Raider and Adolf Hitler to build the Kriegsmarine back up to the size it was in World War I and then take on the Royal Navy. Um, so, it was about 115, 120 ships or so, a bunch of aircraft carriers, but... It would have shined with the battleships. So the two of them that were built were the Bismarck class, the Bismarck and the Turpets. But um, after those were built, everything sort of grinded to a halt. There was the Admiral Hipper class, but I mean, yeah, Sharon Horse also. But still, uh, the designs for the successor to the Bismarck class was the H class. H-39, which was a slightly longer and wider Bismarck, uh, nothing really different. The H-40, slightly longer and slightly wider of that of the H-39. However, though, that version was later rechanged also with the H-41 after the Bismarck was sunk. So, the changes were a thicker deck, better torpedo defenses, and uh, a rudder a protect like a skin a skid for the rudder i don't know something that could uh protect the rudder should a torpedo hit it i think they made it a little bit more shallower but um yeah that was the design however though uh despite the kriegsmarine uh you know designers shaking hands drinking champagne like hey we did it and you know i doubt that we'll ever see them ever be built but we did it hitler walked in crashed the party and said hey what are y'all celebrating for y'all aren't done yet we still have a navy the enemy still has a navy i can turn this war around i swear so keep drawing ships it was either that or they go out and get pulverized by american artillery along with uh british uh royal tank regiments or they get rolled down by gunned down and then ran over by russian t-34s and is-2s so they chose to keep drawing because drawing's easier than hand-to-hand -hand combat with a Russian. So, um, well, they made the H-42s, which were longer and bigger than the H-43s, which were longer and bigger. Then we get to the 44s. Keep in mind, all these ships had a top speed excessive of 30 knots. So, the fact that they made this ship, which weighed 135 to 145,000 tons, with a length of 1,131 to 32 feet, either or, it's a long ship, and it's heavy, and they somehow want to make it hit 30 knots. Uh, I don't think that's possible. Because, unless Germany designed some super, ultra, mega, powerful diesel engine with quad turbos or turbos for every cylinder i don't see it ever happening they did experiment with different propulsion systems like diesel electric and d 
diesel turbine and just straight like super pressure turbine and all that other you know <clears throat> super special high-tech uh, propulsion systems that they had at the time uh, I don't think that it would have really worked for this ship uh, the armament I most people agree that it was 20 inch guns secondaries they say for all the classes it would have been six inch guns I don't think so honestly because those six inch guns are super small so I put eight inch guns I got rid of all the six inch guns uh, secondaries uh, for anti-aircraft use um, I'm pretty sure that the uh, the H-44 would have had just as many barrels as the Yamato class because uh, in uh, World of Warships they have an H-39 it's the Friedrich de Grossa and you can use that as a reference compared to the Bismarck and then for the top tier ship they have an H-41 class the Grossa Kurfest which is um, huge it's an island in the game basically and if that thing's an island, this thing is a continent because it's humongous. I'm pretty sure that strategic fortress of strategic bombers, super fortresses, would have a field day. I mean, after all, Lancasters had a field day with the Turpets, so I mean, hmm. Uh, I put torpedoes also on the ship uh, because, well, Turpets had torpedoes on her final refit. So I assume that they would put torpedoes on all the H classes on their later refits and everything. So, yeah. Uh, most of the ships that Admiral Raider wanted to use were Raider ships. The Bismarck was for some reason to be used as a Raider. Uh, the Admiral Hippers, Graf Spee, Scharnhorst, all of them were to intercept British American convoys to stop going to Britain or to uh, basically Russia for Lend-Lease. And though they did their jobs, in the end they all sunk at the end of them, I doubt that the that this ship would be used for that. I'm pretty sure it would be used to go head-to-head, toe-to-toe with, you know, other navies, but yeah, this is a H-Class. Twin funnels, 30 knots, just like you know, the design says, I tried to get it to the tonnage, I'm 5,000 tons off, but I kept the guns, made the belt armor extremely thick, probably like it would have been in supposed real life. So yeah, this is an H-44. It's big. <laughs> Let's see how it performs in this uh, made-up battle. So Let's assume... It's 1947. The war has gone on forever. Germany somehow won uh, everything in the east. They already taken over Britain, so now they're heading towards the North American continent, heading towards Canada, and the Royal Navy still exists, though in a smaller number. This is one of the main fleets that's left, and the Germans just got done designing this new H-44 class after laying it down and their freaking industrial freaking just everything just goes into super mode and uh, well they designed this ship uh, basically in 47 launch it and then say hey to prove the ship and this design go out to Canada and sink the rest of the Royal Navy so that's the alternate history that we're going to work with. If it sucks, I'm sorry. But, oh, there's the British. And this is our, oh, she's already firing her torpedoes. Okay, so, did it even scratch the paint? It didn't even get rid of anything. Rosses Deutschland, I think is how it's pronounced. At least that's what Google Translate says. I'd say Grobe Deutschland or Greater Germany in English. But hey, so a little too close. Let's uh, get a little bit further. Yeah, focus fire on that ship. It's closer. side of the ship's already starting to look like the moon. Oh, 
Oh, five? Oh no, that were dual hits. I'm surprised that ship's not down yet. Why isn't it? Okay, there it goes. Those 20 inch guns will definitely do a number on a ship. Oh, they, got, they all got quad turrets. They're just going to pummel us to death with small guns. thing about the British, it appears. They all seem to be just... Even their AP is doing some fire damage, so I mean... Getting 28 knots, not the 30 that I was hoping. But either or, it's fast. Another light cruiser. Uh, fire at the others. Keep this heading for a little bit. Meanwhile, we'll just bounce some shots. goes another ship. She's sinking. Due to fire. It, it says that she has plenty of float. She just, I guess the crew just scuttled her because she's engulfed in flames. HMS Trafalgar. Well, she's flooding. She's a battle cruiser. They got 14 inch guns. What about their battleships? HMS Ocean 16 inch guns. Huh. Knocking out the smaller ships because they got torpedoes. Well, I think they do. One of them has to. Oh, I guess they're not they're not carrying torpedoes. Oh! The battleships are. Probably a single underwater tube. They're hitting the superstructure, which, I mean, it's huge. But, I mean, the hull's just tanking some shots until they get up front, which I think it's like... Crap, I forgot how thick I made it. Like 15 inches or so? There we go. Uh, 10 inches! Okay, about half of the 20 that I made. And these are supposed to be decently accurate guns. Let's start turning in. So that way we can keep up with them, the main fleet. HMS Renowned. Uh, Ocean. What else? HMS Repulse. Oh, well. Sunk that battle cru oh, cruiser. Launched our torps already, either. Uh, two. Hmm. I guess we must have jammed her turret or something, because one of them's facing backwards. The 8-inch guns are just firing away at the light cruiser over there. Twenty-six knots is what we are now slowed down to, sadly. But we got range, because 20-inch guns. Time speed is like what it would really be at if this ship, you know, just the real view of the shells flying because two times just seems slow and normal just seems super slow. I feel like at three times speed it's a little bit more realistic. But because I don't want to dilly dally and sit here all day and let's sink them fast. Alright, let's head 
forward. Oh, Jesus. That's a lot of torps. Now we're all out of torpedoes. Just fired the whole damn thing at the enemy fleet. We're sort of angled. Should help us. Just fire the main guns at that little thing. Got them on fire. Nope. Come on. You can hit it. Oh, there we go. Five thousand damage. She just sunk because of a fire. Oh yeah, she's engulfed in flames. <laughs> well, I think that uh, the H-44 class or uh, style design would be a perfect ship. Uh, perhaps if this behemoth was ever built, if they could even feed it, and if they could even, you know, repair such a large ship and have a uh, dry dock that could fit it. Disrupt her steering gear. Ocean. Ooh. Wow, we destroyed a main gun. Is this even fair? That was... That would... Come on. I need a challenge. Come on, boys. Oh, the torps are facing that way. Uh, I'll tell you what. Get rid of that light cruiser. Next thing we need is that little damn thing running away. Piercing our front belt. The extension of it. Oh, one of the torps hit. Look at this ship, the repulse. Wow, huge salvo and what, only one torpedo? Boy, if this thing was real, I bet you freaking strategic bombers would probably have a field day looking at this thing. we go. Wow. Nothing stands a chance against these 20-inch guns. We got a cruiser over there. Huh. We'll get him last. We'll try to, I don't know, accurately hit him. Well, there she goes. If we get too close to them battleships, we might have a problem, but I really want to get rid of that uh, normal cruiser. Oh, hell's bells. Sink that damn thing. It's right there. side of the ship still looks like the moon. Ooh. 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 Another big salvo, and that was an ammo detonation. Yes! 
Yikes. Oh, Captain's dead. Wow, we killed most of our officers. Got her in the bridge. Yeah, we destroyed that superstructure. Wow. I knew that normal heavy shells would do just as much, but I mean... Oh, that cruiser is wanting to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me. I'll, if she wants a fight, I'll give her a fight then. Bing. Sounds like a bell. Ooh, close. Come on. Come on, Kriegsmarine. You can do it. There we go. Oh, well, I thought. Guess our gunners are all high on that Nazi German meth and speed and shit. Well, <laughs> Okay, there you go. I guess the, the speed took off for a little bit. Now they're like, oh, we can see. Oh, she's flooding fast. Uber Deutschland. Uber Deutschland. For the, for the Vaterland. We won. No, thank you. I think that that speaks enough for the German H class. So, yeah. Probably the most famous ship of all time that was forever kept on paper. Now, we have seen what it can do. All in all, I think it was pretty good. Uh, practical? I mean, maybe if Germany owned all of Europe. But I mean... You be the judge. I don't... Uh, it's a mixed feeling. I feel like, oh, the psychological factor. You've seen an island basically move across the sea with guns that size. You're gonna sort of, you know, wet yourself, maybe. Uh, but I think that it's it's okay. Though, really built, maybe 1947, 48, light, plansy, quote-unquote, was supposed to be. Uh, but I think that it was, uh, it was a good battle. It was good, it was cool seeing all those shells bounce off the side of the ship. Though, I bet that if this thing ran into any form of air power, unless this thing had twice as many anti-aircraft guns as the Yamato-class, uh, Japanese battleship, I doubt that it would really, really stand a chance against air. I'm pretty sure that B-29s could even bomb the hell out of this thing because I mean it's huge so yeah I liked it let me know what you think in the comments like and subscribe go ahead you know do whatever you choose uh, if you did like this video uh, and you want to see more of it go ahead and check out my channel if you want to you know if you like those go ahead and please subscribe so yeah thank you all for watching and have a great day